Sean and I were joking that uh, we're the only thing standing between uh, you guys and the end of the day, so we'll try to keep it short. But My name is Todd Wiesing. I uh, work for Cargill. I'm currently a plant manager in, in uh, Central Illinois location. I wanted to share with you guys today our experience in using CompuWay's smart truck system. We've done about uh, 20 installations in the last couple of years. Um, at various facilities uh, across the United States. And um, it's worked well, and I want to share with you our experience for that. So, um, like I said, CompuWay's smart truck is what we use. Um, initially, when we first looked at what our opportunities were, uh, we kind of fell into three categories. Um, our challenges that we faced were accuracy at our scales and gathering customer information. Um, efficiency of processes um, that we had in our plants as far as dumping trucks, gathering customer information, and paying our customers correctly, and um, controls that we lacked in those processes. So as far as accuracy goes, CompuWay system uses a series of RF cards. Um, you guys have probably seen the three, three by five laminated RF cards. Um, those cards are used to identify the trucks um, and they store information about the truck's history at our plants. Um, when we talk about accuracy and, and how we um, struggled with accuracy, you know, our, our plants are designed similar to a lot of facilities in that we hire a lot of temporary labor at harvest time. We rely on those temporary employees to interface with our customers to gather information. Um, we struggle with that sometimes, to be frank, and, uh, and we didn't always do a good job of it. So we were looking for a system that would help us with that and uh, help clear up some of those inaccuracies that we had. The use of these RF tags helps with that. Repeatability is the fact that um, those RF cards identify the truck if we've got customers hauling uh, 20, 30, 40 loads to us during a day from the same field. It really simpli sim simplifies the, uh, the way that they deliver to us and, and helps that process out. And customer verification, we'll talk a little bit about the opportunities that we have for customer verification along the way in the system. So RF cards, I've got a picture of a card here from Gibson City, Illinois. A um, couple nice things about these RF cards. Number one is they're customizable, so they allow us to put pictures of our elevators on it, that we've got our phone numbers on them uh, for customers to call, um, and we're starting to use things like QR codes on the, on, the co on the cards for customers to scan and access information from. The cards are a passive system. Uh, they hang in, the, hang in the truck of the customer. Um, so once they're identified and they're put into the truck, there's really no other action that needs to be taken. Um, we like that and the fact that we're not swapping out cards or trying to use different cards for dist different customer accounts, things like that. So uh, it's a passive system. They don't have to do anything with it. They've got about a 15 or 20 foot range. So we find that to be uh, pretty useful in our, in our application. Um, single or multiple locations. Most of our locations are using individual cards for individual locations, but we do have the ability, if we want to share cards across facilities, to um, link those cards to different multiple facilities, and therefore a customer only has to have one card in their truck. I spoke about the QR codes. We don't use those a lot yet, but uh, a lot of opportunities there I see for future where we can link uh, link that QR code to our website that has all the customer information. Um, we can link it to some data that allows the customer to see how fast our truck lines are for the day or for the week, um, those kinds of things. So pretty good opportunities there that I think uh, we'll be utilizing in the future. Customer verification piece comes from uh, the fact that we're using a smart view message board. These message boards are placed in the driveway where the trucks stop, number one, where they check in. It's typically at the probe. Um, so 
We've got this message board there. A customer pulls up and the RF tag scans. It identifies that truck and the customer that they previously hauled for. Uh, if that information is the same, it's pretty simple to save that transaction and move on. Um, if it changes, we can update the information and it displays on that smart view message board in the driveway for the customer to verify. What this does for us is allows us to put a little onus on the customer to, uh, to verify that we're doing our job right. Um, in the past, they haven't had that information until we handed them a check after they dumped their load or, or handed them their ticket after they dumped the load. And uh, at that point, it gets a little bit more complicated to fix that. So in this scenario, it allows them to see what account we're using, see what the splits are, see what the commodity is, all that good information before, before they get off the property. Information that we're displaying is a customer account, um, the truck identification, so they know when they pull on a scale that uh, it's indeed scanning their truck that's sitting on the scale and nothing's getting messed up. Um, customer information, commodity, are the things that we're capturing on that smart display. Um, it also includes an integrated red and green light that's uh, automated with the process. So when a truck scans at the probe and after we've probed them and captured their information, that red light turns to green, letting them know that, uh, that the process is done and they can move on. A lot of times in our previous setups, we had individual weights and individual red and green lights, and it's nice that this system integrates all that into one piece of equipment. So we talk about efficiency and how this system helped us become more efficient. Uh, there are several factors. Uh, allows for quicker check-in um, by using those RF cards and allowing us access to that truck's history versus scrolling through thousands and thousands of customers and trying to find the right one. We know that that truck's hauled for these past 10 customers and allows us to pick from that quick list. We'll talk a little bit about a intercom and video system, the, the smart talk system that CompuWay uses and that we use uh, at all the places where trucks stop along the way. Um, those intercoms work really well and they have an integrated video system with them. Interfaced grades from our moisture machines um, directly into the CompuWay system, uh, allowing us, um, number one, quicker times when we're grading trucks, but also number two, uh, more accurate information and data transfer into our system because we don't have people manually fat fingering grades, so um, that works a lot better. Smart Choice is a tool that CompuWay uses to allow us to automatically um, direct the trucks to which pit we want to use. And we'll talk a little bit about that. And then automatic weights and tickets once customers have unloaded their grain. So the check-in process, um, like I said, we use RF cards at the check-in process, truck pulls up, scans their, uh, scans their tag, and we know who they're hauling for. We can communicate with them through our uh, Smart Talk intercom system if they need to make changes. Um, it's a pretty quick process. It does store the history of transactions. We've got the last 10 loads that that truck hauled for um, to quick pick from, and uh, that that again helps the process speed up, um, saving, uh, saving a few seconds that every truck adds up uh, over, over the time of the day. So, and uh, I talked about the truck history. So, you know, when we looked at the process overall, we were spending a lot of time before CompuWay trying to identify the truck, get them checked in correctly, and making sure that it was accurate. Like I said, if we can save 10, 20, 30 seconds a truck at a check-in process, that really helps and it adds up uh, over time, so. Intercom system that, uh, that we're using is a integrated audio and video system. So you can see in that picture there that uh, 
there's an intercom, but inside of that, uh, above that little speaker is the, is the camera. So the view that we have inside, the person checking in that truck, you can see on their phone on the bottom left of the screen up there, they've got a little video display of uh, what the camera's seeing out there in the driveway. So you guys have all talked to, uh, talk to customers over an intercom or a CB. It, it really helps in the fact that, that we can see the person that's talking to us and be able to communicate with them. Um, it uses a noise canceling technology, so it, it takes a lot of the background noise of the trucks out of the system, so it allows for a lot clearer co communication, um, and that turns into accuracy for us and, and for our customers. Got a picture of the master station there. It includes a headset, um, so, uh, so folks can use that headset, have their hands free to be grading or probing or you know, entering the information to the computer, but um, it's a real quality, uh, quality headset that uh, our folks tend to like after they get used to it. Not everybody wants to wear a, a headset when they go to work, but it uh, works pretty well once you get used to it. Interface grades, the way those uh, interfaces work with our moisture meter, basically it's just a, uh, it's an input, input back to the computer program from the moisture meter. So once we sample a truck and we run it through the moisture machine, we're getting an accurate recording of moisture and test weight straight into our CompuWay program. Uh, obviously damage, FM, other things that we're gonna grade are, are gonna be a manual input, but just having those two factors automatically downloaded into the system works really well. Helps us reduce a lot of errors and, uh, and reduce the amount of data Again, speeding up the process. Smart Choice is a system that uh, that we're using at some of our locations. We're not using it at all, but it makes sense at some locations where we have a automatic uh, pit assignment. There's a module inside the program that allows us to define what pits we're gonna use for what grades or what factors. And once that grade is input into the system and the truck pulls on the scale and is weighed, it automatically tells them which pit to go to based on their grain type and the grade factors. There's also options in the system for balancing truck lines. So if you have multiple truck lines and you wanna make sure that you always have close to an equal amount of trucks in each line, there's a tool in there to do that as well. Again, this system is, has helped us out tremendously in the fact that we can set up those parameters usually at the beginning of the day and uh, you know, no one is sitting there trying to decide which pit to go to or which bin I need to run to. That system's allowing that to work um, automatically. So works really well. One of the biggest advantages of this system is automated uh, weighing. Automating weighing is, uh, is really impressive if you haven't seen it work physically in, a, in an elevator. That was one of the things that I can stand there and watch for a while and still be impressed by. But basically it works a series of, uh, series of processes. So there's an a unattended mode in the system that allows us to basically let the system run by itself. Um, the scales will work in the fact that there are photo eyes uh, around the scale that make sure that this uh, truck is on the scale. Truck pulls up, it scans the tag. Um, customer gets to verify that they are uh, being scanned accurately, that we've got all their information correct. Um, once the scale comes to, a, comes to a solid weight, then that weight's taken automatically and the uh, customer is told which dump or pit to go to. It's a pretty quick process. Once the truck pulls on the scale and it stops, it only takes a few seconds for it to get weighed and then uh, roll off the scale. So again, um, without a person sitting there pushing a button and weighing the truck, it's, uh, it's completely automated and it helps us speed things along. So we talk about tickets. I've got a picture of a ticket printer there. Um, again, on an outbound scale, 
we would have this ticket printer and truck pulls up, scans their truck, weighs them out, prints the ticket, um, can be right on the scale. Uh, driver grabs a ticket, verifies it, and pulls off. And that whole process um, is about 30 seconds. So it doesn't take long at all. Um, again, unattended. We don't have anybody pushing buttons or anything with that whole process. So um, works really well. We've got uh, CompuWay uses a continuous roll of paper inside those printers. And so um, we get about six or 7,000 tickets out of, uh, out of one roll of paper. So we're not out there putting paper in it every day and fighting the weather and those kinds of things. Works, um, works pretty slick. Haven't had a lot of issues with that, so. Some of the controls that uh, we talked about that we were looking for ways to, you know, put better controls in place in our systems. Obviously, the scale weighing controls uh, are a big one. Smart pit feature we'll talk a little bit about, and then the interface grades that we spoke about earlier. Scales, I told you about the photo eyes that uh, um, make a perimeter around your scale. If we're using above ground scales with rails on the side, we just have one set on the front, one set on the back to uh, verify that the truck's completely on the scale. Um, there are cameras on, on the scales as well, and these give us a live video feed of the scale, or as a truck as it's pulling onto the scale, but what it also does is, is takes a picture of that truck sitting on the scale when the weight is taken. So if we have any questions or there's any discrepancies be, among weights or anything like that, we can go back to a file and pull up those pictures tied to those weights and verify that everything is, is correct. It also downloads to a report that we can send to our customers and show them every load they hauled for the day and send them the appropriate pictures for those loads as well. So they can see their truck weighing in and out and time stamped and everything. So it's pretty slick. Um, one of the other things I like with this system that we didn't have before was uh, max weights. We load a lot of trucks out at some facilities and we have certain weight restrictions um, that we have to adhere to. Uh, in Illinois, most of the time, that's 80,000 pounds. So if we're loading trucks, we have to make sure that they're under 80,000. If we have a truck pull on that we've loaded that's over 80,000, the system simply won't weigh it out. It gives us an error message, and we have to fix the problem before we can print a ticket for that truck. So there's different settings. You can, uh, you can adjust those settings, obviously, and, and set that to what we need to. But that's really helped us out. It's something that we struggled with a lot in our previous system and uh, and this basically eliminated all of those um, problems for us. Smart pit feature I haven't talked much about but it uh, what it does it scans the truck as it comes to the pit so we've directed that truck to go to pit one truck pulls into pit one the smart pit feature scans that truck verifies that it was indeed supposed to be at that pit and uh, if, if that's correct, nothing happens. If he's not supposed to be at that pit, it gives us an alarm, both outside for the truck driver to hear and also on the uh, monitor that the, that the dump pit is looking at. Um, gives us an alarm and, and flashes and highlights that truck that, that's in the wrong pit. So it lets us fix that before it becomes a problem. It's a pretty slick, uh, pretty slick system. Obviously, we don't want to mix grain or or run grain in the wrong bin, and, and this has worked well to fix, uh, fix a lot of those issues for us. So when we look at the systems that we've put in, um, like I said, we've got about 20 systems running in our um, facilities in the U.S. Um, we've really strive to try to get the truck flow down to a, a series where we're probing and checking in before we weigh and then we dump and then we weigh out. I know everybody kind of has their own opinion about what's the prop, proper way to do that, but the advantage really in that is if, if we can probe that grain and check them in at one stop and then have the time to grade that grain before they weigh, that's where we're really gaining a lot of our efficiency um, in the fact that we have a have a grade to that grain. 
They pull on the scale. We know which pit they're going to go to based off that grade. It does it automatically. Um, and so in the off season, basically at most of our facilities, we've got one person running this whole operation and they can do, you know, we've got facilities doing 75 to 100 trucks a day with one person sitting in a truck dump. Um, and that really um, helps us out in that whole process. Now, we do have facilities that aren't doing it in that, in that fashion, um, and it works well. But I think if you're looking at a new facility or trying to redesign an existing facility, if you can set it up that way, um, that's where we've gained most of our efficiency. The other thing to mention is the time or the distance between probing and grading that grain to the time that you weigh them in. If you can get four or five truck lengths in there, and give you a proper amount of time to grade that grain um, that has worked pretty efficiently for us. So like I said, we've got about 20 systems working in Cargill Ag Horizons in the U.S. Um, our payback comes with uh, labor savings at harvest, hiring less temps to help us. Um, and then also being able to process more trucks per hour. Our original ask was that we were able to process an extra one truck an hour at some of our bigger facilities. And that's really all it took for us to get the payback we needed to, to uh, be able to put these systems in. Um, we've got locations around the system that, you know, do 100 trucks a day at harvest. And we've got locations that do over eight or 900 trucks a day at harvest. So. Um, it's really wide ranging and uh, and it's worked really well. Um, there's a lot of opportunities for us. I think we'll continue to to look for new locations to put this in. It's not going to work in every location, obviously, but uh, the ones that it does, I think we've got good payback and uh, and it's worked uh, worked in our advantage. So I think that's my presentation. Are there any questions on any of that? So the question is, can we display the, the grade or the dockage um, before the load is dumped? And the answer is yes. I mean, um, those displays are user-defined, so we can put anything we want to on there, basically. Um, and we do put grades, customers request that they want to see their grades before they dump a lot of times, so we can do that. Yep. Go ahead. Todd. My question is, uh, on the RF cards, do you charge the producers? What happens, you know, you have uh, pr large producers, they have multiple trucks, and what happens with a lost RF card? How do you manage that, that process? It hasn't been an issue, really, and the RF cards are a couple bucks, so we absorb that cost, basically. We haven't had a lot of issues with people losing cards simply because they stay in the truck. Once they hang in the truck, they're there, and they're not taking them out and moving between trucks or anything like that. So it hasn't been an issue, but we've been, uh, we've been taking that cost on. So a large producer would have several cards dependent on the number of trucks. Yep. Yeah, they have a truck or a card for each truck. Each so, truck. yep. One, one second question. On your scale tickets, uh, do you also get a printout inside the office? Like there's one the trucker receives uh, in that photo that you showed us. Is there a duplicate made in the office? Yes, yeah, we're printing copies of tickets inside on multiple part paper as well, so we get multiple copies inside for our records as well. Yep. 